All right, you little cryptonauts, a lot has been happening today in the cryptoverse due to NiceHash and their 100% LHR unlock release, the release candidate of QuickMiner. So I started with one rig. I said, let me just move them over and play with this. When I moved over my 3080 Ti's, you can optimize them or you can just go high mode. When I was running high mode on my 3080 Ti's, oh my God, those things were chewing power in the, in the 300 watt range, 320. And I said, okay, what am I doing wrong? I was just letting NiceHash do its best at its presets to tune my cards. And some of my cards didn't like that. So uh, what I found out is there is an overclock tool with NiceHash. It's not MSI Afterburner. It is part of the install. And uh, that is what I've been doing lately. I've been fine-tuning these 3080 Ti's to a point where I want to be efficient and uh, not burning too much watts, but uh, getting a decent hash rate. Uh, you can get 120 on these things, but I'm burning over 300 watts, 320. I don't want to do that. I just want to, I'm happy with 115 and staying under as best I can, uh, 300 watts. Just that one card is, is a, is a power eater. You know, you just get, you just get some turd cards that just act up. So you do your best. And I kind of tweak down his overclock settings and I'll show you how I did that. And what I did here on Rig 5, oh, this guy just crashed, Rig 5. I'm playing with it right now, and I just uh, I just made it crash. Let me stop it here, and I'll show you what I'm doing. It's kind of acting up, so I'm just going to stop it because I have this. The settings are kind of making it unhappy. Uh, let's go look at it. I'm just playing around with it. I had it on high, and it was giving me close to 50 mega hash on a 3060. And I said, all right, let me go and play with this. So let me do... The settings I have in T-Rex Miner. I'm jumping ahead here, so just bear with me. And I'm going to set down this memory on a 3060. There's my 3060 selection right there. And I'll show you how to get in that. Let me just kick this down so I can get it running again. And I'm just going to run it against that one card. I have selected 3060. This is called the Evacuator OC Tune. And then that is what NiceHash gives you as part of the install. Uh, let me see. I'm going to set down. I'm going to set the memory down here. I'm going to say single for that card I have selected. Blammo. And then you got to go back over to NiceHash. Start it back up. It gets all happy for a minute. And then you'll see the output right there. All right. Enough of that. So... Here's my dashboard for NiceHash. Uh, I consolidated 3060 Ti rigs. I had two 36, uh, a 3060 Ti and a 3060 in my original rig. I ripped them out and all that's left in that rig is 1660 Super. So that rig is non-LHR clean and working like a champ. I just wanted to get all the 3060 cards on one rig and I did that just to make tuning them a lot easier. So there you go. That's what I'm running at. And I'm getting one fifth. Uh, wait, where are we at? Oh, it just started. I'm not getting one. Anyway, what you should get, if my earlier video for 3060, you should get approximately 50, 3060 Ti, 60 mega hash, uh, 3070 Ti, 80, 81, and the dreaded 3080 Ti should get you 120. And again, I'm happy. I with the 115 range because I did have them getting 120. But oh my god, it was sucking power. And I just I just don't want to hear my little HP server power supplies winding up like that because they're just they're just drawing more and more juice. So it became a power management issue. I wasn't expecting this huge growth. <clears throat> this huge growth in hash power. Tell you, the crypto versus uh, acting crazy, man. All this, all these changes. So what I'm doing, I'm mining most of the rigs now on oh, nice hash, you can see 115. 114 and then there's my powers this one here like i said is in the 300s so again i ran let's go back over here when i ran i click this to be high so all you do is when you're in the dashboard you can just click on that little puppy and change it and i did high initially and that gave me the reported hash rate of 120 but my god the power usage was crazy 
and I didn't like all that juice, so I turned it down to manual, and here's how I did it. Let's go back. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay. Now, when you install NiceHash uh, QuickMiner, you'll get all this stuff, and it's out there mining, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So if you go down to Windows right now, it's only available on Windows as we speak. There's this up arrow, this carrot. See that? Right there. Click on that, and then you're going to get the little nice hash quick miner. Right click, and there it is, the old OC tuner, baby. Click on that, and blammo! You get a nice dashboard. It's not MSI Afterburner, but I think it's a lot better because it gives you all the information you need and real-time display of what's going on with your rig. Again, these damn 3080 Ti's run hot memory, uh, and they are the cards that they uh, don't make the copper shims for the copper pads, so I can't even do anything. I'm not going to put new thermal pads on because that that most, most times never works. Uh, it's just a waste of time and money to spend money on thermal pads. I'm just going to let it run and uh, keep mining. So here it is, it's the evacuator OC tuner, and here is your list of cards right here, pull down, blah, 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 like MSI Afterburner, your list of yummy cards. Now to change any of this crap, you gotta have optimize set. You select manual, then it goes to optimize, and then you can go over here, and you've got your overclocking the traditional way, where you have your core clock delta, your memory clock delta, your power limit. I'm not using these. I'm using this way. This is what I'm used to based, kind of based on T-Rex minor. I want to come in and set my core clock limit, my lock core clock, which I used on, ah, let me get focused here. There we go. I use on T-Rex. So I put in 1400. This thing adjusted it down five. And then I would just, you know, select the cards I wanted to play with. Let's go look at three. Three is the problem child. So we're burning uh, 300 watts. So let's go pick device three, and I'll show you what I did. Select device three. You'll see my settings. So it's I did the uh, absolute core clock of 1400. It adjusted down. Now you'll see I lowered the memory down, and that was to lower the watt usage down. When I did that, it also lowered the hash rate. But I'm happy with that. I just want to keep that thing under and around 300. So that's the best I could do. I'm willing to sacrifice a couple because before these numbers, I was getting 93, 94 using T-Rex Miner. Now, is this nice hash actually accurate? Are the power readings accurate? Are the uh, hash rates accurate? I don't know. I can't tell you. It hasn't been a full day yet, and I haven't checked the dashboard. I'm going to let it run a whole day and then see what kind of results I get. So here it is your afterburner type overclock thing to go in and fine tune your cards. If you find that some of the settings on the dashboard are just way too much for your card and it's rebooting it or crashing or just burning too much juice, you might want to go in and uh, be very careful with overclocks. Always know, make sure you know what you're doing and just don't, well, just don't blast it. Uh, high will work, but sometimes high works on these cards here, these 3060 TIs. See that? And you know, we, each car will give you a different reading. Like, I mean, it depends. What do they call that? The silicon uh, uh, lottery. Uh, yeah. This one's burning low because I'm fine-tuning it. This should be at 50 or close to it. I think I'm just not having luck getting it tuned in with the uh, overclocks right here. I have optimized, and that's what I showed you earlier. Let's go back over here and the memory and all this stuff. I might just run it at medium mode and see what kind of results it gets me versus playing with the overclocks. So how do you do that? You can just go over here. I hope it's focusing, guys. All right, optimize. And I'm just gonna go medium, baby. Medium rare, no medium. All right, it's gonna flip it. And over here on the dashboard or on the console, you'll see it. Uh, you'll see it right there. Took it, set it, and then we'll see what kind of readings we get. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. If you're starting to play with this nice hash thing, they do have predefined overclocks in their configurations, in their code. Some may not work perfectly for your car, so be careful. You see this thing spinning out of control or firing off a lot of uh, 
usage on power, man. Just be cautious and maybe say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Start in light mode and um, go from there. So here I did medium and we're at 46, burning about 113. That is okay because I want to stay below 120 on that 3060. So that I may just live with that. But uh, yeah, by default, just come in and they all should be set to light. Like if you click on this guy again, light, that's safe uh, for you and uh, should get you at least up and running. So just be careful of this stuff, these overclocks and these presets. Uh, every card is finicky. And yeah, they're, I wish they were all the same, but they're not. Like, I mean, this is a perfect example. Look at that. Each has a different hash rate. They're all uh, GE Force cards, and they all, let's see, they all have different, where's that thing at, power usage. Yeah, that third one's a turd. It's burning more power, but it's producing less mega hash. You know, go figure, right? So this is 46 on the 3060, and I'm just going to leave that. I don't want to push it. If I get above the 120, it gets a little wonky, and it resets, so I don't even care. I'm happy with that. And I got to watch my power usage because <clears throat> when I when I scoped out my system and hooked up the HP power supplies and the uh, ATX power supplies, I, you know, computed based on what I would need. Now, some of these powers, these watt usage are coming in a little bit higher. Not much, but this one was. And I needed to worry about, oh, my God, am I maxing out my power system, my power supplies? So, you know, that's why I went and kind of said, all right, I need to. I need to just do a little tweaking and then maybe pick the right setting here. Can't go high mode on everything. Can't go to 11 on the dial all the time. So I had to tone it back. But on these guys, same here. I had to tone it down. It was just, oh my God, the HP server supply was whining because I was going over the 80% threshold and it was going, give me more juice, daddy. And I said, I don't want to give you more juice. My power bill is bad enough. I don't want to pay Mr. Power Supply Guy anymore. So this is a 3080 Ti rig is looking stable. It's not awesome greatness, but it's better, like I said, than it was getting 94 on T-Rex. Now I know next week or two weeks, I bet you anything, T-Rex is going to counter and come out with their 100% unlock. And at that time, I'm going to flip back to T-Rex because I love T-Rex. I'm a T-Rex fanboy. Uh, it's done good by me and I like their Discord. And I learned a lot from their Discord, so I'm going to give them my business and my support. So that's all I got, man. There is the overclock setting on NiceHash. Here is the dashboard. Here's my rigs. And like I said, I got other rigs running on two miners right now. And everything is going to be paid out in yummy Bitcoin. I don't want any Ethereum. I'll mine Ethereum, but I don't want to get paid out in Ethereum. I don't even know what the market is now. It is, uh, I don't even know what date it is. Eight. Eight of May, baby. Uh, we can go find out here what is going on in crypto world here. Hold on. <clears throat> Let's go look. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's red. I hate when that little icon is red on the uh, 360 coin, 360. Oh, it's never a good, never a good sign. Oh, my God. I hope I don't lose everything. But, oh, well. Oh, shoot. Oh, what? Yep, yep. Uh, we might be going to 20,000 Bitcoin, folks, boys and girls. Wake the kids, phone the neighbors. We are dropping like a rock. Oh, dear God. All right. That's what you get. Oh, well. I don't know what to say about that. I have no control over this. Uh, yeah, go forth, guys. That is all I have. Start playing with a nice hash. At least maybe you can squeeze out some more hashes. And the way I computed it for all my rigs, all my LHR cards. Yeah, I'm LHR boy. That is all I could get at the time when I was building my rigs was LHR cards, go figure. And I even used retail bots uh, to buy this stuff. And I only ended up getting LHR cards because founders additions and the non LHRs were all gone by the time I jumped into the ring, the crypto fighting mining ring. And uh, yeah, that's all I could get. Uh, it was just ridiculous, but yeah, that's where I'm at now. But if this hundred percent unlock holds true, we are looking damn good. And uh, I compute with all my LHRs, it comes to about six 1660 super cards, which mine ETH hash at 30 mega hash. So about 180 mega hash is what I gained more or less, plus or minus 10 or 15, right? Out of this mod, if this actually holds true. So that is huge. So take 
320 bucks. Let's do it. Let's do some public math. This is very dangerous, guys. Public math. Um, oh my God. Where's my calculator? First thing is find a calculator. All right. Yeah. So there's six cards, right? I was playing around with this early. And each of these cards you could probably get for 300. Let's just say with tax and bull crap. Uh, 350. Let's just, let's just, ah, screwed that up. I can't even do public math hard. Public math is hard. Oh my God. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh my God. I did go to public school. Sorry. Blammo. So let's say 21 or 2160, 2160 bucks for me to get the same mega hash if I went out and bought this crap, not counting the damn risers, the damn cables. If I was going to get six more 1660 supers right now, I would get one of those uh, uh, riserless motherboards that come out of those Octominers with the built-in CPU. And uh, yeah, I would just do that and get rid of the, stop using the damn risers and all the damn cables and just plug it right into the motherboard and, and start rocking and rolling and keep the, uh, keep the extra overhead costs down. Because if it's not making you money, just, I don't know why you want to waste money on stuff, especially in this crypto, crypto mining world, why you want to go out and buy fancy rigs and fancy stuff. And it's not going to make you money, especially with, uh, again, that ETH POS crap coming down the road. It may uh, screw up the whole GPU mining world, making it non-profitable. Uh, yeah, I hope it doesn't come to that, but we will see. I'm guessing a new coin, a new, a new POW coin is going to come out. But again, everyone is so super sensitive about proof of work because you got all the, uh, oh, what do you call it? The narrative is it's bad for the economy. Ooh, I don't think so. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Oh, there it rebooted again. So five is having issues. I need to work on that and figure out why it's, yep. That, that 3060 is hating life right now. So I'm gonna have to stop this thing. Let's go over here, I'll show you what I do. This video is just going into a random video. So who cares, you'll learn something and I'll learn something. I'm gonna stop it just so it doesn't keep thrashing. And I'll go over to the dashboard. Blammo, and that's the 38, here it is. This guy doesn't like medium either. I, Oh, it doesn't like medium. So what am I going to do? I'm going to run it at light mode for a bit, just to narrow down if it's the settings, and then see what those settings are on this 3060, and uh, and then go from there and try to maybe go into the overclocks and tweak it to where it's not just crapping out on me. Um, I might have to isolate that card. And the beauty, beauty of this nice hash is you can disable cards right here if you don't want to run. See that? Oh, focus, focus. There we go. Just throwing that slider, and you can just focus on one card in your rig. So that is kind of nice. I, I've i done it old school for like months and months now, six months or so, editing batch files, making copy of batch files. But, yeah, you can get spoiled real quick with these nice tools. Oh, look at that. All right, I'm going to let this run. So there's easy mode. Let's make this a little more clear. Blammo. Come on, man. Let's do it. Do it. All right, look at that. So there's light mode on the 3060, which is number three. Uh, 105 and 44, 45. I might live with that. Let's just let this rip and see if it doesn't crash out. If it does crash out, I'm going to isolate that card and just figure out what's going on. So anyways, uh, in summary, you can run these settings on NiceHash. Make sure it's good for your cards. But if you don't like the power usage, uh, go to light, medium, uh, 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 high. You can always go in and do the overclock settings, but make sure you take your time. There is a manual. I know RTFM will save you a lot of hassle. Uh, this is the alternative I'm doing because of the lock core clock setting. And uh, But then you can start tweaking the memory clock to fine tune it with little increments. You click on those minus and pluses to increment up so you don't have to keep typing it in. So they make kind of a nice engineer's GUI here. It gives you all the information you need, the yummy goody information with control buttons that's not super fancy but it gets the job done and there is all the goodies look at that horrible vmm temp yay 3080 ti junk oh my god but it's mining better than i've ever thought it would mine you know we are talking look at that guys i mean come on this is crazy time this is just this is this is anarchy what's happening all right it's all good go check it out guys let me know what you find out let me know if you're using nice hash. I need some comments. I want to hear some feedback. I want to get some tips. What am I doing wrong? Am I, should I crank the power? I don't want to burn more power. I'm trying to be more efficient. 
I want some yummy hash and hopefully one day soon I'll be able to ROI all of my equipment and then have a keg party or a scotch. Remember bourbon. Let's do a bourbon party. Yeah, bourbon's better for you. Uh, all right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. That is all I have. Take care. Keep mining.